Hey all, Board Game Rants here, where you'll find everything solo, tabletop gaming, and more. Tash Kalar by Vladar Shvatel, my favorite game designer on the planet of Mage Knight fame. This is nothing like that, though, although it kind of looks like it. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So why would I pick up something like Tash Kalar? Well, it's Vladar Shvatel, for one, my favorite designer on the planet. But this has never had a notable solo variant, official or unofficial. It does have an unofficial one that I've I looked at, I want to say some years ago or a couple years ago or something. It just wasn't enough to put me over the edge. You know, the, the, the game designer is just a, a phenomenon. He makes games that just are so wildly different, you'd never guess it's the same person designing them. That's one of the things that most impresses me about Vlad Fatel. You know, you got games like uh, Star Trek Frontiers. Well, uh, not really. Star Trek Frontiers is essentially Mage Knight, which is over there somewhere, but in Star Trek form. But, you know, maybe a game like way over there, I don't know if you can see it, Dungeon Lords, boop, or Dungeon Pets, or uh, what is that? Through the Ages? right? Maybe Galaxy Trucker, if you ever heard of that one. You know, these the, the games are off the charts as far as how different they are. I don't think this is any exception. And, but without really any kind of solo variant to it, and it just didn't look like, I mean, it looks beautiful, but it just didn't seem like my kind of game, being an abstract game and all. I just... I just never picked it up, but I was able to get it. I, I've been watching the price rise on this game, maybe because it's just difficult to get to. I don't know. It's never been one of the more popular games. I feel like it's been probably his least popular game uh, as far as big box games is concerned. And so I've always glossed over it. But it, it I've heard uh, people uh, Summoner Wars or something like that, or mm, I'm trying to remember the name of the game. But they've said that they like this game better then other games like it but there's not a lot of games like it so anywho i was able to pick it up at a pretty good price and so i figured i would give it a shot maybe i'll just you know try to play a little two players with uh you can play teams which is cool so there's a, there's a way to be able to play you know cooperatively with someone against a couple other people for those people that want to have still a you know it's sort of the the age of of uh, cooperative games anymore, or uh, a lot of people look for that. And with cooperative games, there tends to be a, an ability to do a solo element to it. So anyway, I'm gonna have a look inside here. I don't suspect there's a ton of components. It feels like, you know, there's a lot of air in this box. And so when I saw it too, I've seen it for, you know, prices up there in the in the 60 to 70 range now for this for you know on retail so i guess i don't know if it's going out of print or whatever but it's just uh, becoming more difficult to find but i was able to find it at its original like 39.95 price point so i picked it up here's a 2017 this is an older game 2013 i believe and so a uh, little catalog um here in in the spirit of his rule books he's got this guidebook Oftentimes, Vlada does this, uh, Vlada Shvetel does this sort of nice, nice, fun little narrative while you learn the game. It's a gorgeous looking, I mean, these, these rule books are typically gorgeous. And, uh, but some of the, like, Mage Knight's rule books have been redone a couple times um, to, to kind of get everything in, in a good format. But I've seen, I saw him do this with Galaxy Trucker, I've seen him do it with... You know, all sorts of his games, uh, Dungeon uh, Dungeon Lords, and, um, and through the ages, most of his games have sort of this 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 bigger rule book that's your your guidebook, but it's really the one that helps you learn the game. And then and then oftentimes, and there's this little this one's particularly short. Then there's the full rules, which in this case is just a <laughs> just a two page uh, little rule book. If it's a rule sheet. And, um, but this is what actually teaches you how to play. There's, you start only using certain cards, kind of a basic form of the game. And then and you go on to the full game and then, and then there's different, you can either do a high form, which has you doing tasks as well as playing the game and then just straight up death match. And okay, it shows you how to set up team play. A few more thoughts. 
from Vlada. Just gorgeous too. I mean, the colorations on them, this is just very stunning looking, very appealing looking. Here we go, there's the boards. So here's the board. So here is Tash Kalar. Which I guess is just kind of an arena and you're basically, you know, your mages on either side of the arena, you're throwing out these, I don't know, runes or whatever. Um, and you're trying to get those runes in a particular pattern so that you can summon creatures. And so, and there's the uh, stronger side of a rune. And then uh, I guess it's common and then heroic. And then there's legendary somewhere, but, um, oh, there's the legendaries. Legendary. So there's uh this is good. This is nice, you know, normal thick cardboard chits there. I believe this is double-sided. It's got like this darkened area here and then the other side doesn't. Not exactly sure how that plays in, but uh, oh, here we go. Uh, just a few more things. Here's the, I think this is when you're playing death match. You've got your, uh, okay, some of this stuff's already pre-punched. And so here's, yeah, this is going to be, I think, the board where you'll be Okay, on the back side is where, oh, I don't know. One of these is the back side for the death match. And this looks like it's part of the board to put the tasks. Yeah. Yeah, you put tasks. Uh, when you're playing the high form, there's not only you're trying to crush your opponent, but you're also trying to create these tasks, which will be some cards in here, I'm sure, coming up. Here's some more of these chits. Another little of that. Wow. And then that's it. I mean, yeah, that is it. That's all that's in here. And to see this game for like, you know, on retail for, I think it was, I don't want to say it was 60 bucks. It's like, you know, there's, there's not much to this game. So picking it up at its normal $40. I'm glad I was able to do that. And so, yeah. Um, let me bust in these cards, we'll have a look. All right, there we go, just to give you an idea. I got all the, the cards laid out. So here's the four factions you can play. And I think these two are identical, and then these two are very asymmetrical. But it suggests you start off with these two factions just so you have an even Steven playing field. And then as you get better at understanding what you're doing, you would you know introduce those. There's other factions too, as an expansions, a couple of them, I think. And over here you've got, uh, uh, other cards that you'll add that you'll be able to play. This is uh, the legendary deck, I think. No faction owns, and you'll just... Uh, these are huge creatures that you can summon. And then these are flares, which are typically used when things are getting out of hand on, on the board or when your opponent's really building up, has a lot more... Uh, a lot more... I think it's Calorite or Calamite or... Is, is what the, I don't know. There's some sort of magical summoning runes that you have to place out there on your turn basically to place one of your little chits out there or you play one of your cards and summon a bean you, you get two you know two actions like that and you can put two chits out or you can play two cards or whatever you can do and that's basically your uh your turn and then here's where you can so like right here i just kind of set up very general idea as my, I've never played this game, but you know, let's say green is working up to try and do their unicorn. They're creating their little, their little, uh, you know, they've got their, they've got the right symbols in the right spots. These are common symbols and this is, this is a heroic symbol, but it's at least a common symbol. So he's, he's about to, about to bring his unicorn into existence, but red has set up this bomb and has these two common pieces in a row. So plays this card and then sees what, what the bomb is uh, representative of a common piece. And it goes in relation to these two space. So it could, could go, actually, you can flip it and mirror image it. Could go here, could go here, could go here. But certainly wants it, I think, to go there. Bombs that, so crushes this piece. And then in summoning the bomb... Well, if it's your last action this turn, nothing happens. Otherwise, destroy the bomb and all common pieces adjacent to it. So here's the bomb. All you know, even a 
even diagonal is adjacent in this game. So ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. But also one of your pieces goes bye-bye along with the bomb. So all that's left after playing that card is this one little little chit here. And then you can, you can go down here. You can look. Oh, heroic destruction. You destroyed at least three enemy pieces this turn. At least one of them was upgraded. Well, there was this upgraded piece here. So you would get... Uh, would get at the end of his turn you get this which is worth two points at the end of the game so very cool stuff i mean here you know, tons of different uh if you do certain things on certain colors out here you've got green and red squares out here uh, lots of variation very vladish fatel-esque with this sort of subtle beautifully done mechanics uh, this looks like a very, rel I mean, a, a pretty easy game to learn, and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot, and then eventually trying the unofficial solo variant out, and and seeing how how it all goes together. Maybe a game that I just have to kind of talk my family into just trying to play team wise or two player. Who knows? But it's beautiful, and it's filling out my obsession with Lotus Vitale's games. That is. Tash Kalar, Arena of Legends. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I'm Board Game Rants and I'm out.